We're in the backstage studio. It's Buster with Radio Now and my friends Chris and Jason uh, from Indie Pride. What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, pretty good. How are you? Living large. So 2017 Indie Pride Week has kicked off. We're how many days in? We are four days into it. And how are we feeling so far? Uh, we're feeling pretty good. I mean, numbers numbers are fantastic. We've good been turnouts. seeing great turnout at all of our events. Last night's Trans Pride Social was amazing. Um, we had nearly 200 people there. We filled it up to capacity. I heard the Baton Rouge game was good, too. That was awesome on Sunday. We had a, a huge turnout for both the, the game and for our community picnic, where we were able to give everyone free free lunch that day. So it's it's been a good what, start what's, to it. what's in the free lunch? It's hamburgers and hot dogs. It's typical typical American fare when you're at the ballpark. When you uh, go to order a hamburger do they ask, and they ask you, how do you want it cooked, how, how do you say? You just say medium. Chris? Got to go medium. Medium, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want it too rare, but you don't want like overcooked either. No, that's can't do well that's done. Key. I don't know if we were in that spot to have like the gourmet experience. It was more of like a mass produced. This experience. is more just a general life conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what else? What else? Um, we had Pet Pride over the weekend down at the Otto Dwork Museum, which was a fantastic turnout for that one. Just kind of an event that is uh, family friendly and pet friendly. People brought all their dogs down. We had a couple. Do you guys have dogs? Cats. I have a dog. Um, Max is a little Maltese. I couldn't bring him though because I was working the event. Um, right. My mom was mad. She's like, but Max missed the party. You know, why didn't you take him? I'm like, God, thanks for the guilt trip. All right. Uh, but yeah, so I have a little Maltese. It's tough to work and clean poop at the same time. It's tough. <laughs> you know. It's tough. And you're going to get a corgi. Yeah, I'm going to get a corgi. <laughs> Currently have a cat. She stays at home. She's the queen of her domain there. Without so, question. Uh, she stays there. Yeah. yeah. So we had Pet Pride over the weekend. We also had um, our Pride Skate event out at the Roller Cave on the east side, which is great. Um, and, and events just continue through the weekend. So. Did you guys ever go to the like roller rinks when you were a kid? Franklin Skate Club is where I went, down on the south side. Okay. Yeah. And do you remember the little shop? Did they have games to play, like arcade games? And they still do. They still do. Okay. <laughs> so did they have a shop that you could take and trade tickets in for like a ring pop? It's like or the whatever? original Dave and Buster's. Okay. <laughs> Essentially. And where it's like 5,000 tickets for one Tootsie Roll Pop? Totally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guess what? That was my first job ever in life. Was, was it really? And in that little stuff shop and like shucking Tootsie Rolls to these little kids for like 500 tickets. Well, like, and yeah. You know, that's kind of like my first job at a movie theater. I would sell four cent popcorn for sixty three dollars to people. So it's, it's about the same thing. <laughs> okay, so walk us through kind of what we can expect from Indie Pride for the rest of the upcoming days. So tonight, uh, Wednesday night, yep. we actually have our Pride of Indie Bands concert followed by our movie night. And this year, we're showing the animated feature from Disney, of Beauty and the Beast. So we've Classic. been saying, be our guest tonight. Come out to that event. Um, enjoy that on Wednesday. Follow up. If you could be any of the little characters from the original Beauty and the Beast, who do you see? Your, who do you most identify as? I think I definitely fit Lumiere. Which in, was, in was he the own. clock? He, he's the candelabra. Oh yeah, he's the one that I'm pulls, the clock. Pulls, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the clock. <laughs> he's the one that pulls off the party, and then his friend is the one that worries about the party. So you know, that's 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 how we look at things. <laughs> Are you the clock or the candle holder? That is, is that is so true because right now <laughs> you're pulling off the festival, and I'm worrying about everything. So yep. it's perfect. Okay, so after we get through movie night, then where do we go? So tomorrow night, we have several events going on, and it's going to start from 6 to 8 um, up in Fishers at the Sun King Tap Room. Sun King has partnered with us, and they're doing a special pride beer. It's called Amber Has Two Moms. Oh. Uh, so we're going to be out there for the tapping tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, I love Sun King, too. <laughs> yeah, I love Sun King. Um, and a dollar from every pint is going to be donated back to Indy Pride, and that goes um, all the way through June 15th. Way to go, Sun King. Yeah, we love yeah. that. Um, nice and then we've got um, the bag ladies are going to put on a great drag show uh, at Greg's uh, called Loud and Proud. That's their annual event tomorrow night uh, starting at nine o'clock and then we also have girl pride going on at the vogue tomorrow night so it's a jam-packed night tomorrow so saturday night are we going to be downtown so Saturday, all day, we're going to be downtown. We're going to be all over the city. There's a lot of events happening, and it starts with Cadillac Barbie Circle City and Pride Parade presented by PNC Bank. Um, it's going to start this year downtown on the corner of Delaware and Michigan and go up the avenue. Um, so that's going to go on there. It's a huge parade. There's over 175 participants in it. Um, so it's going to be a great time. And then the main event is kind of the Circle City and Pride Festival presented by Salesforce. And this year, it's in a little bit of a different location. Traditionally, we've been down in the War Memorial in the center, mm -hmm. center of town. This year, it's moved over towards IUPUI over to Military Park. So it's going to give us about three more acres of usable space. Oh, cool. And we're really excited for some of the uh, the new things that people are going to see this and year. And it gives us shade. I mean, Pride literally <laughs> takes place on the surface of the sun. So it's wonderful that we'll be in a shaded space over in Military Park. Okay, so for the festival, are there any costs related to get in? And then what's the entertainment? 
we're charging an admission fee this year. And if you buy your tickets in advance, those are $4 in advance. If you wait until you, you get in that line that's at the gate, it's actually $5 at the gate. So if you want to save time. Trying to save that money. Save time, save a dollar or 20%. You want to buy that in advance on the line. Okay, what website again? You can go to circlecityinpride.org and look for tickets there. And then what's the entertainment at this festival? So we've got a huge lineup of entertainment coming. We've got, um, of course, stars from RuPaul's Drag Race, which we all love. Um, but as far as the headlining entertainment, we've got CNC Music Factory coming. Nice. CC Peniston. Right. Bonnie McKee, who you might not know, but she's had a few hit songs, and she writes everything for Katy Perry. I was going to say, she's so big she's, in writing. She's yeah. big mm-hmm. in writing and such. And then um, we've also got Martha Wash coming, who sings It's Raining Men. So oh, it's kind perfect. of a big anthem. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Entertainment spread throughout the day. You can get the entertainment lineup on our website, circlecityinpride.org. Okay, so the weekend's not over there. Then what happens on Sunday? So Sunday, we we jump right back into actually the purpose of Pride. When you think about Pride's history, Pride was a resistance. And so when we go through that history and we think about where we are now, that idea is is incredibly important for our future. And so in D.C., there is a equality march for unity and pride that's occurring, and there are solidarity marches around the country. We're hosting a solidarity rally here. So from noon to 3 on the Monument Circle, mostly on the noon side of things, we'll be doing a rally in that circle, and that will encompass speakers from different segments of our community and individuals just reminding us why pride exists and reminding us that the battle for equality is not over. Okay, so for anything post-festival, follow along on social media or hit IndiePride.org.